They see a woman. Ooh, we got a good one. I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you your cake so you could eat it <laughs> or something. But long story short, that wasn't even for this car. That was for the base model version of this car. <laughs> We're not doing this. Like, she doesn't need that stuff. We're better off going and getting a used one. I'm showing them the prices. She would have ended up paying over $10,000 more. For I might as well get an M4 do. So basically what we ended up getting the car for with taxes and everything included Finally, the day has come. A lot of people have been asking about this. We're gonna tell you exactly how much Zayna paid for the 2023 Lexus IS350 F Sport. Pretty much fully loaded. We'll get more into that later. The initial video we did showing the whole process of, you know, when she got the car did really well. And a lot of people were asking, you know, how much did she pay? I'm trying to get one. I'll show you guys the window sticker, all the options it came with. We'll talk about what they were initially trying to offer her before I got there. I wasn't expecting this. She went to go get a service <laughs> and ended up leaving with a brand new car. It came as a surprise to me. We're going to talk about how we were able to get more for her trade-in. And we'll just give you all the tips and tricks and how we did it. And where I think I messed up and we could have done better. That way you guys know what to do when you're in that situation. So if you find value in this video, like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's go. So... Initially, I was totally unprepared for this because Zayna was going in for a service and I received a phone call and she's giving me the idea like she wants to get a new car. She's asking me all this stuff and I'm like, Zayna, stop what you're doing. Don't talk to anybody. Don't sign anything. I'm on my way. And this is like an hour away from where we stay at. Mm -hmm. So I shoot over there and she had already been talking to them because they already had given her an offer. She had a car, obviously, like I said, she went in for a service. She had a 2016. Lexus IS 200T. Well, I was just sitting in the lobby and I was working and I said, mm, I just want to go look at the cars. And, and she... I went and I looked at the car and this one was <laughs> in the showroom and it had a big red bow on it. Actually, a customer had spec'd this out. They said the color came out wrong. Which, I don't know, I love this color, especially with the red interior. Probably the best combo you could go with, in my opinion. Long story short, the customer didn't want it, so they had to just keep it there. They had a big red bow on it. It caught Zayna's eye. Uh, it was really different, though, compared to all of the other ones that are, like, base, not basic, but... And you can see the whole process. We put a video out on it. It actually did pretty well. 70,000 views are around there. You see the whole process of when I got test there. Driving. We test drove it. Then you see the other car that we were looking at as well. That thing looked like an upgraded Camry or something, you know? Compared to this, and it was the same it exact car. Jesus. Cut! Just tell them initially what, you know. Yeah, I just went and I looked at two of the cars and then I just asked them how much they would give me for my car because that was going to be my down payment. So I was just curious to know how much I could shave off a total price of something. Because the guy who sold us the car in the end wasn't the person who actually finalized the sale, it was somebody else. Shout sold. out to Sid. Yeah, he was good. And the other guy said, oh, I don't know, maybe they'll give you between thirteen to 14000 for the car. So, I, like I said, I was totally unprepared. And one thing I will say is never go into a negotiation unprepared. You want to do all your research. Know what you're getting yourself into. If you don't and you make yourself sound stupid because you don't know what you're talking about, it's not going to go good for you. You want to know the value of the car. You want to know the value of the car that you're looking at. You want to know what they're going for. You want to talk to other dealers. That way you have something to leverage against them with you know something else to compare it to there's a lot of stuff that goes into it i'm trying to do all this on the fly while i'm on the way over there and you'll see there was a couple things that i feel like i could have done better and could have got an even better price we didn't end up doing bad i will say that of course they see a woman and they're gonna say "Ooh, we got a good one any dealer is gonna try to get the most out of anyone they can especially somebody maybe not as knowledgeable with this kind of stuff so of course I automatically started searching how much her car was worth, what, what it was going for. I looked Kelly Blue Book, Car Gurus. I pretty much seen that they were going for 18 and up. And I have sold cars before, so I knew like I could sell this thing for at least 18 minimum. So 13 already, I was like, 
no, we ain't doing that. I was initially trying to convince her to get a used car, this model, but a used one. And they only had like 600 miles or something. Very low so mileage. It just shows like how. But definitely not as spec as this one. This one, like I said, was pretty much fully loaded. This is the all wheel drive. You know, it just so happened to come with that. Me personally, I like rear wheel drive, but obviously an all wheel drive is safer. Better for my peace of mind knowing she's in an all wheel drive car. And you can see all the installed options. It came with the panoramic view monitor, parking assist, auto braking, blah, blah, blah. Came with the BBS wheels, which really set this car apart. Very nice option, a very expensive option. So you won't see that too often. $2,450 for the BBS wheels. Came with the F Sport handling package, adaptive, very variable suspension drive mode select which is sport plus it has the triple beam led headlamps yeah you see all the prices right there so it comes pretty well specked out and as you can see the total msrp is 58485 so initially going into the negotiations because at this point you know we're just gonna see i told zayna you know we'll see what they say if they give us a good enough price then we could do it if not you're better off just getting a used one so we go and they give us the price they still have the price of like 13 for her car which i knew automatically you know we're not doing that i always ask out the door that's one thing you always want to do ask for the out the door price i was a little confused because like i said i never traded in a car before and they were including this in the price Think Looking back, I should have told them, okay, separate this. I want to just talk about the price of the car for now because they yeah. do that to make it look like a better deal than it actually is. You when know? really you're giving yourself the deal. Yeah, cause... because instead of in the 60s, it was in the 40s. So I'm like, oh, okay. No, no, it actually was in the 50s at first. And initially it would have been high 60s, you know? With the car included, I think it was around 56, if I do remember correctly. And if Sid is watching this, maybe you could comment the exact price if you remember. I think it was 58. But long story short, that wasn't even for this car. That was for the base model version <laughs> of this car. So once we seen that, I was like, oh, we're, no, this is like, we're not doing this. You should have seen me and Louie. We were like, yeah, we like, couldn't uh, imagine what the other one exactly. Was so be. I was like, that was with the trade in included. So we're like, nah, like we're not gonna. That's not. That's not gonna happen. You I know? thought we weren't gonna get a car because my we weren't. My condition with Louis was, if you tell me it's a good deal, then I'll do it. So if he told me like it's not a good deal, like I. I no, trust, no. At like, that point, I was like, okay, we're out of here, you know? But we're still talking to the guy. I could tell they want to sell the car. He went to I, his marriage. I brought up, yeah, well, first of all, I told them that I could sell the car for much more than what they're, you know, offering. I, I told them I could easily sell it for 18 and I'll just let you know now, they eventually brought that up to 16 which for me, that was good, you know? Not having to deal with negotiating with other people and doing it ourselves. I said, hey, I'm, I'm good with that. I'll take... A two thousand dollar hit just for you know the ease of doing it that way so that was good with me sixteen thousand we're solid we're still talking about the price of this car though and mind you they're still including the trade-in in the total price so it, it's still kind of confusing me it took me a while i was taking my time i don't know why i just didn't tell them to separate that we're talking about prices and i'm telling them i'm like we're better off going and getting a used one i'm showing them the prices used ones pretty much the same year it was the we're same. in the mm -hmm. like high 40s in the same area as well they and just kept bringing up that it's not decked out yeah that it's not decked out and I'm like she doesn't need that stuff she doesn't care about that stuff yes she she likes the wheels she doesn't even like the red interior but she doesn't need navigation she doesn't need all-wheel drive it had like a license plate thing a digital license plate which we had them take off because that was like she didn't need that it was 3k more 3k more so they yeah. took that off that did a lot for the price long story short after all of that you know they went and they talked we went and we talked a few times you know we even went across the street to bmw <laughs> you can see the whole process in the other video so if you want to know the whole process just go watch that but after all the deliberation between both parties we both came back together and the dude comes the main guy and he says you know what you know he, he's no, doing no, his little say thing say what he said he said he something said, that i'm gonna, gonna give you your cake so you could eat it <laughs> or something <laughs> You can, no, you, you, can. <laughs> you said, you know what? I'm gonna. I forgot the saying. I'm gonna give you your cake and let you ha eat it too, or and eat some too, no. or something. <laughs> you guys know the saying. I forgot how the <laughs> saying goes, but he said that. You know, you guys know what we're talking about. He said we're gonna give you a sweet deal. Mm -hmm. Forget the base model one. We're gonna give you this one for what was it like 46 out the door with everything included, like 45, 46. I think it was yeah. 45, uh -huh. right? Oh wait, you have the number right here. It was 46. 45498 is what he comes back with them and I'm like, 
okay, actually that sounds good. But at the time that was with this included and I was comparing it to what we could have got the used one for. Mind you, base model used and it was like high 40s. So I was like, okay, now we're talking. I'm looking at Zayn and she's like, what do you think? What do you think? And I'm like, that's not bad. You know, they came down a good amount. Um, what was it like 10,000 they came down from the initial price. They were trying to mark it up a bit. They were definitely trying to mark it up a bit. They weren't trying to give the full value of Zayna's old car. So, and it's something, like I said, it's nothing against that dealership because they were willing to work, which some dealerships would just not want to work with you. So it was a good dealership because they were willing to work with us. Obviously, we ended up getting it. So you guys already know the end of the story. But I was a bit confused because I, the reason I say I could have got an even better deal is because I would have asked for MSRP out the door, you know? And if we did that MSRP out the door, which 58485 minus 16, it would have been 42458. So basically what we ended up getting the car for with taxes and everything included was around 61,000. That was the out the door price, 61,000. And then, you know, minus the trade in 16,000. Yeah, like 45,000. That's what she ended up getting the car for. So we were only like $2,000 off from the MSRP as you guys seen. But like I said, with them including the trade, they kind of got me with that. Cause I wasn't like, I had never traded in a car before. So, and I was kind of off guard. I was filming a video, but going back, I would have excluded the trade-in from the negotiations and I would have asked for the MSRP window sticker out the door and I believe I could have got that. I'm pretty pretty sure I could have got that but two thousand dollars you know at the end of the day they we got it down like what ten thousand dollars or so and that was for the other car they would have wanted in the <laughs> 60s so we got it down over ten thousand you know we got it down yeah. over to so yeah. at the end of the day we did pretty good, you know, you guys could let us know what you think, but um, you know, for a pretty much fully loaded car, all the bells and whistles, brand new, like it literally had what, three miles on it? Like seven. Seven miles on the car. Seven miles, and now it has 6,000 miles. She, she ain't waste no time, but <laughs> you know, that's what you get a car for is to drive it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> But all in all, I think we did pretty damn good, you know? We did do good. Louis does a very, very good job. And he's so, like, he doesn't show any emotion. Like, me, I was like, ah, I'm so excited. And he was just like, yeah, you know. You got to be stoic in these situations yeah, and in life in general. Stoic. You have to. You can't show emotion. And in the market today especially dealerships aren't really willing to negotiate as much it is getting a little better especially with newer cars used vehicles it's it's even more difficult and you can see obviously i have the m4 that's my car but it might become the lexus is channel to be honest if you guys like these videos better but I you can see the man. you can see the whole process that we did with the m4 as well that was a used one and mm. we negotiated with that as well you did good with that too yeah and that one took a long and time and he was extremely patient that one took months this one in a day in a day's time <laughs> <laughs> with no preparation on the fly filming a video everything pretty sure we did pretty damn good yeah she would have ended up paying over ten thousand dollars more and i don't know if you would have ended up going with that but i wouldn't it just shows like you have to not settle Seven for days. i might as well get an m4 do yeah for sure like that's a lot of money and these cars aren't cheap these Lexus IS 350s aren't cheap. I don't think anything will ever beat Lexus when it comes to the service, maintenance, and full experience of the car. I yeah, had, you get a lot with Lexus. I had my other car and reliability I had and everything. No issues whatsoever, and I love it. I came back for another one, so you can have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> that's yeah, that that's the same. <laughs> that should be Lexus's slogan. Yeah, he said, "I'm gonna let you have your cake and eat it too." And he literally like dropped the pencil like. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah like, oh, he yeah. was super animated. <laughs> the guy. Yeah. yeah. They were willing to work though, so yeah, that's pretty much what it was. And at the end of the day, Zayna was happy with it. So if you're happy with it, you know, there's no need to like penny pinch. I believe we formed a good relationship with the dealership, which is a good thing because if you try to bleed them out of the deal and make it to where like they just have to give you the car basically and they don't get anything out of it, then it's kind of like you're, you're burning a bridge, you know, if you even get the deal. So you want to make it make sense for both parties, which I believe we did. Like I said, I think we could have got a little more out of it, but at the end of the day, $2,000 off of what it would have been, not bad, you know?
but you know give your opinions down below in the comments also give us some suggestions on you know some video ideas what you want to see with the 350s this isn't the 350s give 350 us 350f sport give us some suggestions for what you want to see with the is350 we got some mods that we're gonna do with it you know we're gonna put a full exhaust we're gonna I'm put not. the full <laughs> carbon fiber aero kit uh, we're probably gonna, you know, slam it to make the it ground static. because it's like a monster truck yeah, between the tire. The <laughs> oh, yeah, Lexus is crazy with the with the wheel gap, but no, Le Zayna doesn't want to slam it. We're definitely not gonna slam it, but we are gonna lower it a bit. We're gonna do some stuff to this car. Chrome delete. We're gonna do some stuff to this car. So give us some suggestions. Anything else you wanna say, baby? Have your cake and eat it too. Have your cake and eat it too. Until the next time, I'm gonna see you guys soon. Appreciate you. Salute.